I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Not. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Now today's video I was planning to do something on the lawn, but as you can see, it's raining just a bit, which is alright. So we're going to do some calibrating of a clip-on hose spray, which is those Hortex ones you buy at Bunnings. So let's just go on the shed and I'll explain how to calibrate those. Alright, so I'm doing today's video on this Hortex hose sprayer because a few people have been asking me how to calibrate one. I did a video a while back on how to fertilise your lawn, but I thought I'd do a quick video today just to show you how to calibrate one of these Hortex hose sprays. What you will need to get this going. Hortex hose sprayer. Calculator. Something to measure your stuff in. And a hose. A long hose of that. And your common sense. So first thing, just make sure you've got a really long hose you can get across your whole backyard with. So I've got this one just here. Oh, I'd be about... 30 meters long, that's long enough for me. It gets from where it is sitting at the tap all the way to my back, back of my backyard and to the front of my front yard as well. So make sure you got one of those. Now first step to calibrating this little sucker is I want you to walk over your whole backyard in one direction, so north, south, with this attached to the tap and spraying it out. Now the sort of pace you go is just a little bit below walking pace and you just spray your chemical out in front of you left, right, left, right, like you sort of flick it around like this. So you get an average coverage to the left and the right of you. It's really your own pace and you forget how fast you go, but you have to time how long it get, takes you to get over the backyard at least once. Now once we've gone over the backyard once, we can then times that by two, because I always recommend that you go over your backyard in two directions just to get a really even coverage. We do that at work on the golf greens and the bowling green, two directions, because you're always bound to miss a spot. Maybe you won't, but it's better just to cover your butt because it's going to be a better application if you get it nice and even. Especially with fertilizers because if you miss a spot with fertilizer, it's going to show up and going to make a big difference to your lawn. Next thing you want to do is get a little stopwatch out and then get a bucket like this one here with some measurements on it and then get your sprayer and your hose. Now attach your hose to your sprayer. Please don't wet me. Attach it up. So what we want to do now, it doesn't matter what setting it is on your sprayer because it's still going to chuck out the same amount of water no matter what setting it is on. It's only, the setting only changes how much chemical comes through the bottle itself. And what you want to do is, hit your bucket, hit start on your timer, and start, hit spraying at the same time. So you only want to go for 10 seconds. Let's see how much we got. So in 10 seconds we got a litre of water, which for my applications is going to be awesome because a litre makes your, just your figuring out things a lot easier, your maths. So your water pressure is going to be different everywhere you live, so that's why you need to check that. So your water pressure might give you 2 litres per 10 seconds, it really depends. So now to get that to how many litres of water you get per minute, you obviously go, for me, for this instance, I'd go 1 times 6, because there's 6 10 seconds in 60 seconds, which is a minute. I hope you knew that. If you didn't, go back to school. <laughs> that means I get, per minute, I get 6 litres of water. So next thing that we're going to do is we're going to times that by 10 minutes. So we've got 6 litres of water per minute. So now we're going to time that by 10 minutes. Because I know it takes me 10 minutes to get over my backyard. I've done this before in the past. It takes me 5 minutes to go one direction. And then 5 minutes to go the other direction. This is the front yard and the backyard as well. So it takes me 10 minutes all up. So we're going to go our 6 litres that we get per minute times 10 minutes, which is going to equal us 60, which is 60 litres of water comes out from that sprayer over the whole backyard in those 10 minutes. So the next thing we're going to do is figure out how many mils of chemical we're going to put out per litre of water over the whole backyard. So let's show you how to figure this out. So I've got some chemical just here, just some fertiliser, which is just an example today, just so you guys can figure out from here. So basically what you need to do is, for my whole backyard, I know it needs about 2 litres to get over the whole backyard. So 500 mil per 100 square metres, since I've got a 400 metre square backyard. You can figure that part out on your, by yourself. You've got to figure out how much area you've got, how much fertiliser you need to put out, but 
you guys should know that step already. If you don't, feel free to ask me in the comments section below or send me an inbox on Facebook or something and we can figure it out from there if you get confused. But what we're going to do is basically we're going to turn that 2 litres into, a, into millilitres. So we'll make it 2,000 millilitres divided by 60 litres, which is going to equal 33.33333 repeater, I'm pretty sure. So that means now we've got to do is find on our actual sheet of paper that we get for the formulas of this sprayer just here. That's it just there. And what we've got is 31 mil. So we've got 33. That's going to be the best setting, which is number 10. So that's going to be our best setting is dial number 10. So we're putting out 33 mil of chemical per litre of water. So that's as easy as it is, that's how we figure it out. Now sometimes we'll be under and over because of your walking pace, so it's always better to walk that little bit slower when you're doing it, just so you get your chemical out properly. After doing this a few times as well, you'll find you'll be able to get the application out nice and even because you're so used to using that sprayer. So as I said, for that one there, two litres of that chemical over my 400 square backyard, I'm putting it out at setting 10. And I've done this before and I know that it works, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Chuck a thumbs up there if you enjoyed that. Subscribe if you haven't already and you have a good week. Come on, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Calibrating every day. Oh damn. Get up some water in here. Oh crap.